happy new week to each and every one of now. Gratitude is my attitude. Even you will not be obedient. When they come here, they come cause us the yabos. I will still love una now. Not only love go feel bring us. We we'll still they show una love. Peter will be done talking. He same up with the love. Don't stop loving them. You understand? And we will continue loving you people. You know, yesterday I had an interview with over 120,000 people. This is the second time he's having it. But yesterday was something that something strange happened. I want you guys to watch the video. Honestly. People will not even be see APC where they and they ask questions. They no can come to wala. You go see say from their questions. These ones they don't make up. They don't, they don't change. Nigeria, we want a better country. We see what in the apple corruption don't eat into us. Peter Obi might not be perfect, but we want somebody that will just lift us out of this mess all we day. You understand, <sniffs> guys? You can't listen to Obi and not love him. You can't do. I won't do this in yesterday, but I was so emotional. Listen to this video, man. Ah, you can't do but love this man. Forget about sentiment. Don't be biased. Just listen to this video. Guys, also, just um check my page. Our second contest, um, pigeon contest is going to be coming on soon. I will post it. We have cash prize to be won for second and third position. You know, that's our second edition. And also, I want to do live today. I'll try to do live. Facebook and YouTube. Yes, Um, somebody sent me a story. So I just feel, say, make I come, come. Bring out to my people here. Yeah, rob my. If not you, what will you do differently? It's so touch. It's very touching. What thing you go do? You understand? I'm up with it. They very careful. So guys, what you go just do? Help me snatch this video so they do. I'm wrong with it so that the rest will never change. May they see and may they know. You know, help me share this video. I go sooner for my next video. I'll sooner very soon for my life. Until then, stay glued to NATV. I love you, people. Thank you and thanks for watching. Now, in a meeting with over one hundred and twenty-six thousand obedience. Peter Obi encouraged us to stay steadfast, resolute, and committed, adding that we will eventually win. Now, before asking him questions, people said their names and their states of origin, and I can say emphatically that the whole of this country was represented in that meeting. We had as many Yorubas as Igbos there, and they came with massive support. Northern Muslims were also abundantly represented in that meeting. But something different happened in this edition because this isn't the first time we are having this kind of meeting. But in this edition, something different happened. Many APC supporters joined the meeting this time around. A few of them spoke and we could clearly see that these guys had crossed over to our side. The acceptance of Peter Obi and his agenda of a new Nigeria has gained even more prominence in the camp of enemies now than it did during the campaigns. And these guys are beginning to boldly cross over without shame. Now, without further delay, please, let's carefully listen to Obi's final words that closed that meeting where he said, we will eventually win. Where they show you hatred, show them love. Where they go, scandalize your name. Please give them good name. Always remain a reference point. Remain exemplary. People have told me all sorts of things. People have said to me, if they've called me name, they've called me uh, president of um, mourning, president of condolences, president of... And I've written them back and said, oh... He's always going to where there's a uh, barrier. He's always going to bury us. He doesn't even go to where there's feasting. And I always tell them, it is better to go to the house of mourning than go to the house of feasting. It is these are the things that makes you a human being. When you attend barriers, you know that this life is so temporal. It's what makes you a human being. You know that all those things you're acquiring, you don't need them. You should not acquire them. Especially when you acquire them wrongly. Those things will not last. It will not save you. So better use those things to help humanity. When you are giving public money to manage, manage it transparently. It is for benefit of public and everything. Stay with people who are in difficulty. Don't push people down. Don't look down on anybody. Unless you're going to pull the person up. Let us pull each other up. Let us stay with each other. Let us show love to ourselves 
and show that we're a country where people live and can live together, irrespective of their tribe. All of us are suffering. The North is suffering. The South West is suffering. South East is suffering. Nobody today, like I said before, buys bread cheaper. We all in it together. And if we work hard, the bread will come cheaper for everybody. The roads will be good for everyone. Lagos Ibadan Road will be good. Anyone in Road will be good. Abuja Kaduna Road will be good. Kaduna, all the roads will be good. If we do the right things, we'll travel together. I used to travel to London, only to one airport, Kanu Airport. I want to go back traveling like that. I want people to come to Port Harcourt because they want to do business, do their business and go. We can build a better country. If India is too large, but today people in Delhi are okay. People in Mumbai, people in all over India are living well. And they're doing things they want to do. He sent in, in Indonesia. He yeah, go to Bali. People are okay. People are okay in Jakarta. People are okay in other areas of the country. That's what it should be. Ours should not be a, a case of, oh, I'm from here. Thereby, the other people should jump into the river. They shouldn't jump into the river. There's no color. There's no difference between a Yoruba man who is carrying a green passport and an Igbo man who is carrying a green passport. We are all the same. Our children who grew up in the same society, we must not divide them. We must live with them. And that's what I beg everybody. So, everything I do, I showed you about Mr. Shonaikan, who I live with in a flat. He was a mother. He cared for everybody. We didn't know, we didn't know her as a Yoruba woman. I know her as mommy. My wife called her mommy. My children call her mommy. When we heard it died, everybody was feeling bad. On Thursday, I canceled everything I'm doing to go for a, a burial. She's being buried in London. My wife, my family, everybody will be there. So that's what we should do. That's how we should live. We shouldn't live where you say, oh, I say it's from this place. I say it's from there and everything. No. It is one Nigeria. Let's be one. Let's respect each other. If David has problem, we have problem. Those people who are living in IDP camp in Nigeria are us. They are living through us. Unless they go back to their villages, unless they go back to where they belong, all of us are in IDP camp. Anybody who tells you is happy when other people are suffering is an animal. Anybody who is eating and are happy when people are hungry and animal, Nigeria must be careful. And we must be a better Nigeria. God bless all of you. Bless Nigeria. Bless all those who work in it. All those who are trying to make it this thing. Please do not give up. Remain resolute, resilient. We will win eventually. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Wow. Wow, what a speech. And what a way to close a meeting. And the consistency of this man is what continues to shock me the most. For so many years, he has remained the same gentle, humble, and responsible politician, a man of integrity that we all know. And his understanding of the problems of this country is another thing that you know, sets him apart from every other person in the political class. You listen to other Nigerian politicians speak and you can clearly tell that these guys know nothing about the situation of the common man. Two days ago, Tinubu was saying Nigerians should endure more. And you can clearly see that this man has no idea about what is happening on the streets. This man knows nothing about the common man. You are talking about endurance when people are broken already. People are completely, they've completely lost it. Is it until people start dropping dead on the streets? And they may not even care even when they see people drop dead on the streets. Talking about Nigerians should endure a little longer. That's an insensitive statement that shows he's totally unaware of the people's plight. 
you are talking about endurance, but you can give 70 billion naira to 469 National Assembly members to share while you propose 8,000 naira for a family, for a household. You are talking about endurance, but you are driving around in fleet of cars to oppress the common man, to show them that you have money to throw around. Why are the National Assembly members who earn 28 million naira monthly not being asked to endure? Why is it the poor man, the poor common man that will still be asked to endure? You drive around in fleet of cars, 124 cars, when you were returning from France, but the federal government is proposing that people should start riding bicycle. That Nigerians should begin to ride bicycles while you drive around in fleet of cars. This is wickedness. And Nigerians know what they want. They know who they want. And that's why then they talk, say, all eyes on the judiciary. There is a case before you. And there is sufficient evidence for you to do the right thing. And Nigerians keep urging the judiciary to pass judgment according to the dictates of the Constitution and of the electoral law. Make quarrel for no day. And we expect earnestly. We wait earnestly for when we go pass that judgment.